Bueno, todos sabemos que este es un mundo de hombres, sin embargo, eh, cada vez más eh, empiezan a surgir o se fortalecen eh, organi numerosas organizaciones de mujeres, tanto en Chile como en el mundo, que han luchado por los derechos de las mujeres y muchas veces han logrado algunos cambios. Eh, ¿Cuál sugeriría usted que fuera la principal tarea, el, el principal objetivo o, el, el, o la tarea principal que eh, deberían tener este movimiento de mujeres para lograr una igualdad de género? ¿Es que es solamente tarea de las mujeres o cree que involucra algo mayor? Yeah, I think that uh, gender issues are huge issues. And uh, I say gender because I think that when you talk about gender, it's not just a woman's thing. When we talk feminism, then it's only women that we're talking about because feminine, it's a woman's movement. But when we talk about gender, we're talking about, you know, gender as being both men and women. And for me, gender issues are very important because what has happened through the ages, which is even older than colonization and slavery and all that, uh, we had a system of patriarchy. And that system even you know during the Roman times and that, it was very oppressive of women. Mm -hmm. And over the years, women have fought against it and have got small, you know, changes. Mm -hmm. Like today, women can do any job. They are not discriminated against. Um, you can, um, you know, sort of uh, vote. Previously, you couldn't even vote. Uh, you can organize yourselves. Previously, women's organizations were shunned and they would be immediately, you know, banned or uh, not allowed to continue. Uh, so there are small changes over the over the centuries mm. that women have been able to achieve. But we still have a lot of patriarchy that continues. And for me, one of the issues is that over the years, our struggle has been for, you know, some sort of improvement but not changing the system mm -hmm. and sometimes if you don't change the system those little improvements don't make a difference mm -hmm. so you have to begin to look at the system what is the patriarchal system and how deep is it entrenched in our society and when you begin to look at that you see that it's not only the men that are entrenching the patriarchal system, it's also us as women. The way we bring up our children, we are entrenching that patriarchy. We are teaching our sons to feel that they are superior to women. We are teaching our sons the idea of roles. Who created the roles? Who said that the women must do this and the men must do that? That isn't, you know, something that was uh, ordained. It was created by the patriarchal system. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we can begin to change that and begin to look at a way of living that is satisfactory to everyone. So it has to be a new system. It has to be new thinking, mm -hmm. uh, a new independent thinking. And that's when we can begin to say that uh, now we have gender equality, mm -hmm. that there's no differences. But also 
with the differences comes the discriminatory practices. And the discriminatory part of the discriminatory practices is the abuse of women in particular. And so abuse of women is another issue that we need to tackle. Mm -hmm. We often just tackle the abuse of women and leave the patriarchy. That's why I'm separating the two. Mm -hmm. You have to track, uh, tackle patriarchy. And in that you need uh, not only women's involvement, you need everybody's involvement. Mm -hmm. But the second issue is about abuse. And therefore we need to tackle the question of abuse. And why? Because you need to look at the, uh, the root of abuse. Why is it that women are abused? Mm -hmm. And find the root of it and discard that. And even in that you need the men as well. Mm -hmm. Because the men need to also begin to think why is it that we are abusing women? What is the, are we not respecting women? Is it because of um, the way we think things? Because the way we, you know, when, for instance, the relationship between man and woman is not just one of friendship, and you know common understanding but it's a relationship of possession mm -hmm. both from the male and from the female we want to possess and when we think of possessing that's when we would then you know feel anger when there's something that is changing that relationship mm -hmm. So, so what do you tackle? You, you have to think differently that when you're marrying a woman or when you, you know, in a marriage, that you don't possess each other, that there's a friendship, but you're still independent. If you want to get out of it, you want to do something else, you have the right to do that. You don't possess. Mm -hmm. Not your property, you know, <laughs> and that is where the problem lies. When you begin to think in those terms that this is my property, then you abuse and you treat people like that.